Smokers say no! Chokers, look at that Tesla Maestro stock up a big here today, hitting an all time high. As I've taken a screenshot, the stock is $1,080 a share, up $71 a share here today, a 7% plus move. Look at that. Are you flipping my flapjacks? 52 week high all-time high for Tesla stock here today. It is a thing of beauty, okay? A thing of beauty for all Tesla shareholders out there, okay? We're gonna talk about why, what is going on, okay? What the heck is going on with Tesla stock? Now this stock's jumping huge again here today, hitting an all-time high. What is really going on with this stock? And what should you do now with this stock, in my opinion? Should you buy it? Should you sell it? Should you hold it? What should you be doing? That's what we're gonna discuss in today's video. Hope you guys enjoy this as always. Smash the thumbs up button. We're going for 1,087 thumbs up in the first hour. We've never hit 1,000 thumbs up in the first hour. That's what we're going for in this video, being that Tesla stock price hit $1,087 here today, okay? And just so you guys know, I got a free resource link down there in the description for you. It's a first link, how to create a low risk, high reward stock portfolio from scratch, okay? So first off, a lot of good news out here today in regards to Tesla. I think we're gonna cover four different pieces of really good news, okay? So it's a lot of good news, okay? This is a first. There are more and more rumors coming out that Tesla stock is going to get included in the S&P 500. Okay, this is really big news. Now, there's something very important. In, in order to get in the S&P 500, it's not just about having a big market capitalization, which we know Tesla does, right? It's not just about being a great company and all those sorts of things, and being a US company. The one I have circled there, this is so key, okay? It must have a positive reported earnings in the most recent quarter, as well as the four most recent quarters, okay? This is very, very key, because look at Tesla, my Tesla stock, the past three quarters, profitable, profitable, profitable on the bottom line. This is very key. If Tesla wants to be included in the S&P 500, and I'll explain why that's big in just a moment, they have to continue to report profitable quarters so they can go ahead and get approved, hopefully next quarter, and be included into the S&P 500. And this email was leaked literally last night, okay? This is very important. Elon Musk emails Tesla employees Breaking even is looking super tight, essentially meaning that likely the bottom line is looking pretty close to whether they'll make a profit, which they need to, to get in that SP 500, or maybe they don't quite make it. It's really, really close. And this is big because a lot of people thought there's no way Tesla, no way Tesla will make any money on that bottom line in this current quarter. And if they do, oh my gosh, okay, they could end up in the SP 500. Now, why is being added to the SP 500? So big, you might be asking, especially if you're kind of newer to the stock market, you're in your first year, you're like, well, why is this such a big deal? Why are people talking about this? Why is there so much excitement around this? Okay, well, here we go. There's over $4 trillion in index funds, okay? Well over $4 trillion in index funds. It's actually more money in index funds than actively managed funds, okay? Now, most of these index funds, what do they do? Most of them go ahead and invest in the S&P 500. And since they're not actively managed, they just have to spread the money around, okay? The money's just spread around across all the different S&P 500 stocks. And so think about it from this perspective. Well, if everything just has to be bought, that means Tesla stock is one of the stocks that will just have to be bought. And if you're thinking about another long-term bullish thing for Tesla stock price, okay, this is definitely a very good thing getting added to the S&P 500. This is why this is so big. And this is why that email that came out last night from Elon Musk, that's why this is so big. Because if they report another profitable quarter, guess what? Likely S&P 500 edition is coming within the next quarter or two. And that, that's just a, that's just a very bullish thing for Tesla stock price overall. All, okay, that's number one of four different things out. Number two, okay, an analyst basically came out and said that Tesla's gonna have a lot stronger deliveries than what Wall Street's actually expecting, even as broader consensus calls for a weak second quarter showing by Tesla, one analyst sounds optimistic. This analyst believes that a strong June is gonna actually salvage Tesla's Q2 numbers. Tesla may have delivered 90,000 to 100,000 vehicles in the second quarter 
thanks to a robust June. According to Credit Suisse analyst Dan Levy, that compares to sell-side consensus of 70,000. So imagine that, sell size at 70,000 vehicles. Imagine Tesla comes in with 90 to 100K. We're talking a 20% to 30%, if not more than 30% beat. That would be massive, okay? That would be absolutely massive. In the first quarter, Tesla delivered 88,496 units, up 40% year over year, but down 21% from the previous quarter. Giving a breakup of the second quarter deliveries, Levy said the company sold 31,000 cars in China, just under 35,000 from its Fremont, California facility, about 25,000 global inventories coming into the quarter. And we know although Roni Rona messed up Tesla sales in a big way for this quarter, they've come back very, very strong. Look at this here, okay? New Tesla car registrations in China fell 64% month over month in April to 3,635, but then they rebounded like hundreds of percentage up to 11,095 vehicles in May. When you see something like that, it basically means that demand is still insanely high despite the whole Roni Rona situation we have going on that is hurting Tesla and every company out there. But just at the end of the day, when it's a company that's products have great demand like Tesla's do right now, they still end up pushing numbers. Now, one thing I will say about this analyst, you know, it sounds like they're optimistic, but yet they have a $700 price target on the stock, okay? You know, from where the stock's at here today, that's like, you know, 35% plus downward move this analyst expects for the stock, but yet he's actually optimistic on the sell side, that, which is quite interesting, okay? That's reason number two of four. Reason number three of four, and then we'll get into what I think you should be doing with your Tesla stock right now, is there's more and more hype building around battery day. We are only about uh, roughly, let's say, 75 days away from battery day, okay? Here we are, we're about to be, what, July 1st, I think is tomorrow, and September 15th is a big shareholder meeting plus battery day. And there is so much hype around this battery day that Tesla's gonna announce some big stuff out there that is is really, really important. Remember, one of the holy grails for Tesla, if they're gonna become this company that dominates the auto industry, is that they have the best batteries, but not just the best batteries in terms of mileage, but they can bring down costs substantially on these batteries more and more over time as they've done in the past. Now there's been talk recently that Tesla's secret batteries aim to rework the math for electric cars and the grid. Electric car maker Tesla plans to introduce a new low cost, long life battery in its Model 3 sedan in China later this year or early next that it expects will bring down the cost of electric vehicles in line with gasoline models and allow EV batteries to have a second and third lives in the electric power grid. This is massive, guys. This is absolutely massive. It's massive in the respect that Tesla can either become a much more profitable company if they continue to bring down battery costs, or if they just want to do bigger and bigger volumes, bring down the sales price, and all of a sudden more and more consumers have access to buying a Tesla, getting that experience, and loving Tesla, and loving electric vehicles for life, okay? So this is really important, but it's not just important in that respect. It's also important for things like autonomous vehicles and self-driving taxi networks over time, okay? Look at this post, okay? This was Galileo posted. This is actually from last year, okay? He said, average Uber ride costs around $2 per mile today. Car lives for 150,000 miles. Robo taxis could charge $1 a mile and generate 150K in revenues over their lifetime. Transportation as a service flips gross margin structure of vehicles from 20% to 50% plus. Elon Musk actually personally responded to that. He said, Model 3 drive unit and body is designed like a commercial truck for a million mile life. He says, current battery modules should last 300,000 miles to 500,000 miles, 1,500 cycles. Replacing modules, not pack, will only cost 5K to 7K, which is big there. And then imagine if they continue to innovate on this. Imagine what they have to announce here in, let's say, 75 days from now, a couple months from now, right? This is, you know, this is big stuff. Wall Street is so worried about, is Tesla gonna move 70,000 cars in this quarter, or 75,000 or 80,000 or 90,000? That's what Wall Street gets so caught up in these short-term number metrics, when it's like, look at the tech that, that Tesla has. Look at the things they have going on for the long term. 
That's really the game in the end. Does it make that big of a difference if Tesla sells 90,000, 80,000, 85,000 cars in the quarter? Not really. Tesla's playing the game of dominating over the next 10 years, and that's really, really important. This is a whole game that Wall Street forgets. They get so caught up in this. Think about Amazon 10 years ago, right? Amazon, let's say the Amazon was gonna report quarterly numbers. Wall Street was so caught up in, does Amazon report $2.3 billion for the latest quarter, or $2.4 billion, or $2.2 billion? It didn't really matter whatever the short-term metric was for Amazon revenue-wise. It just didn't. The fact was, Amazon was becoming more and more of a serious threat when it came to their retail operations, right, online, as well as this little service starting up that was starting to become bigger and bigger called Amazon Web Services. And everybody on Wall Street got caught up in these short-term numbers. And it's like the short term numbers, they're not dictating where the long term game is at here. You've got to focus on long term game, okay? Number four reason, and then we'll get into my opinion on what you should do with Tesla stock. Number four big news out here is Tesla starts to enable cars to automatically drive through green lights. This is, a, you know, Tesla just continues to innovate when it comes to autonomy. I'm, I'm more confident than ever that Tesla will have the safest and the best full autonomous vehicle full autonomous on the road within the next year or two. I am fully confident in that, okay? So at the end of the day, they're gonna dominate on the battery side, domination on autonomous side. They're just destroying everybody on both those sides, on real world, like, like not just what was talked about, right? This company out there can say, oh, we're gonna have a battery do this. Uh, yeah, show us what's going on in the real world. Tesla actually has these products in the real world. Autonomous side, all these companies, oh yeah, we're doing this, we're doing that. Show us in the real world. Let's see what you really got. These Teslas are on the road today, today, okay? Not in hopes of two or three years from now or 10 years from now or five years from now. They're doing this stuff in the real world today, okay? Battery side, autonomous side, this is the whole game. And if you're the one that wins both those, you will have full control over the automobile market in the future as well as transportation in general from city to city, okay? So this is just massive. A lot of people aren't even realizing this, especially a lot of the folks on Wall Street. And obviously the bears have completely missed this for the last several years now. They've been caught, so caught up in short-term metrics and this and that, and they've just totally forgotten the long-term game here, okay? So, next question is, what should you do now with your Tesla stock? If you have Tesla stock, and then we'll talk about, well, what if you're thinking about buying Tesla stock? Is it a good value here? Is it not a good value? Kind of what's my opinion as somebody that's a Tesla shareholder and owns, you know, a significant portion of Tesla shares? I will definitely share that with you now. First off, keep calm, hold the line, okay? If you're actually a holder of Tesla shares, you know, you just gotta hold the line at the end of the day. You know, the Tesla's a volatile stock. It's what we have to deal with. The stock shoots up, it shoots down, but where's Tesla stock mostly go? It mostly goes up. You just, if you're a long-term shareholder of this company for the next five, 10 years, you really can't try to time it in and out. I've just seen investor after investor fail trying to time in and out of Tesla stock where they're like, it'll go up a bunch and they're like, well, you know what? It might go down again. It might go down again. So let me sell out. I've even seen people in my private group do this. You know, oh, it might go down again. So let me sell out of my shares or sell out some of my shares and I because it's gonna go down again so I'm gonna buy back in and I've just seen this failure over and over and over again I've read it in the YouTube comments you know on, on videos I produced months ago or even you know over the last year or two you know after it would go up and it went to 400 people were like oh it's gonna go back down to 200 I'm gonna I'm gonna sell out now and, and it went to 600 and then they're like oh it's gonna go back down to 400 I'm gonna sell out now and I've seen it as the stocks continue to climb and climb and I remember when it first hit you know 900 a lot of people believed it would go down huge again and now it's you know what I a thousand plus and at the end of the day if you're really a long a true long-term shareholders company you just have to keep calm you just have to hold the line you can't get too excited about the stock price gains and uh that's all you have to do trying to time it in and out man it's just it's a losing proposition that's all i'm going to tell you it just doesn't work for pretty much most people out there okay it's just an unrealistic endeavor okay now the one thing i will say that should be interesting is watch out for all the big auto players over the next year or two and i'm not talking about on the technology game I'm not talking about, oh, they're all going to launch electric vehicles and become major competitors. No, like they would have had to do this like years and years and years ago if they really want to be threats to Tesla. Where I'm saying watch out for these guys is I think all these big automakers, all the dealership model, I think they're going to have to do big discounts in 2021, 2022 to try to drive traffic. And I think it's going to put kind of a mask on what is really going on around demand for electric vehicles 
versus gas vehicles because I think sales numbers will stay up in terms of volume over the next year or so, but it will strictly be because a lot of these players are having a discount heavily just to move cars and people are like, well, that's so dang cheap, that new vehicle over there, I guess I'll just have to get it. So watch out for this over the next year or two and keep in mind the dealerships are going to be more desperate than ever, okay? It's not just the automakers, it's the dealerships. Like look at how bad sales have been hurt because of Rony Rona, right? And these dealerships, they, they rely on these sales in the service. So definitely look for a lot of these folks to go ahead and say, you know what? We're going to go ahead and discount and we're going to try to drive volume any way we can possibly drive volume while people are still any what interested in essentially getting an ICE vehicle. Now, in terms of buying Tesla stock, only buy Tesla stock, in my personal opinion, if you're planning on holding this for the next five, 10 years. If you're not planning on holding Tesla stock for the next five, 10 years, in my personal opinion, it's just not the stock to be in. If you're hoping, well, maybe the stock's going to go up a bunch more before battery day, or let me try to time this out in, in terms of, oh, it might go into the S&P 500, things like that. I think it's a really just a losing proposition. If you want to actually buy Tesla shares here today at a, you know, $1,080 or whatever it's going to end up closing at, right? You better be buying the stock for the next five to 10 years. I'm telling you, this is not the right stock to try to, you know, I don't think any stock is the right stock to try to trade in and out of, but especially not Tesla stock. Because Tesla will do the opposite sometimes. You might think, oh, it's gonna go up a bunch more as soon as they get that S&P 500 inclusion or battery date happens, and then all of a sudden it goes down because maybe expectations were too high. I've been in the stock for probably about two years, maybe a little over two years, and I've always tracked as a public company, and the stock would always do the exact opposite of what people thought. People thought, well, when Model 3 comes out and they start going to production, that's when the stock's gonna go up like crazy. And then Model 3 came out, they had a bunch of production issues. What happened? The stock price went down and down. And it really wasn't until like the last nine months, you know, six to nine months somewhere around there that the stock started shooting up like crazy when actually a lot of people thought, you know, it was overvalued or maybe it wasn't gonna go up anymore. Like just don't try to time out Tesla stock. Don't try to do that with any stock, but especially not Tesla. Only be buying the stock if you're planning on, you know, putting this in the filing cabinet for the next five to 10 years, okay? I wanna hear what your guys move is with Tesla next. Are you buying the stock? Are you selling the stock or, or are you just holding the stock? I really want to hear from you guys in that comment section. Let me know what you're doing with your Tesla shares. And don't forget, first link down there in the description, how to create a low risk, high reward stock account from scratch. Thank you for watching and have a great day.